tucked up behind each other. Now they're not gaining as quick as I would have thought they would have. But John here they come. on the outside in that zero nine. Here comes the 25 of Joe Logano up the racetrack. Goes the 32 of James Busher. He's making that car as wide as he possibly can as they work their way through four and out into the trioval. James Busher is able is going to be able to do it, Rick. James Busher trying to hold on. Will he do it? He'll win in Daytona. James Busher wins in 2009. James Busher able to hold off Joey Logano as well as Justin Lofton and John West Townley. And the 25 is not slowing down the backstretch. Sean Case looking for his first ARCA Remax Series win, and it's going to come at the Rock today. Coming out of turn number three, the 25 looks like it will go to victory lane again, this time with Sean Case behind the wheel. How about that? You never know these things now you until it's over. Patrick Schefter is going to end up with a second place finish. Matt and Merrill, great run, career best third place finish. Brian Silas comes home fourth. Unbelievable run. Another career best finish for Brian Silas. And Parker Kligerman with a number, another top five, five races, five times in the top ten for Parker Kligerman in his career. Really been impressed with that 83 car, Grant Infinger. Had a good run going last week, had a tire problem late, and Mikey Kyle doing a terrific job as well. Justin Lofton holding off the field. Coming through three and four, can he hold off? Bill Baird for the final less than a mile here at Talladega Super Speedway. Out of turn number four, the fans are on their feet. Does Bill Baird have anything for Lofton? Will Lofton get his first win in the Arca Remax series? Across and through the trioval and to the finish line. Justin Lofton wins at Talladega. What a nice job by Justin Lofton holding off. Bill Baird on that restart. He got about three car lengths and really didn't let Bill get any closer to about one car length. Well, that, that car was really good, but I have been real impressed with Justin and that uh, whole Eddie Sharp team this year because he has been solid everywhere and really has showed a, a lot of uh, savvy as far as the choices that he's made on the racetrack. Comes Patrick Shelter in third. And right behind him, Joey Coulter. They Joey. make their way out of turn number two. Race leader making his way through turn number three. And now the long straightaway. He will see the checkered flag. It will be Joey Logano winning again in the Arca Remax series. Great job by Justin Lofton. Another top two finish. Patrick Shelter gets the look at this. Ooh. A little contact back there. Parker Kligerman moved to the bottom of the race track. Looked like he was able to get by Rob Brent. They made a little contact right at the start finish line. But what a day by Joey Logano. Wow. Great performance by Joey Logano. Holding off all challengers. The most recent was Justin Lofton, but he didn't have anything for him in the final four laps of racing. as he continues to fall back, but it's the 77 that pulls forward and tries to pull away from the 31. Can Austin Dillon reel him in? Coming out of turn number four, there's not enough time and not enough racetrack. It's gonna be Parker Kligerman winning in Michigan. James Bush a rebounded to a fourth place finish. Nice job by him, but what a run by Parker Kligerman, 18 years old. Has to go back to school and take final exams. <laughs> but he gets his second win of the 2009 season as well as jumps to the points lead in the Arca Remax Series. And again, we talked about this early on. They had only scheduled eight races for this young man in the 2009 season. Well, today was his eighth race, and now he's a two-time winner and your points leader in the Arca Remax Series. Other cars are in that window right now. Here they come to the stripe. 
White flag in the air. 1.5 miles to go from Kentucky. If Clegg can just keep even till they get off of turn two and race them down the backstretch. Coming out of turn two. Kligerman has the advantage as they go down the backstretch, side by side. Now Enfinger fighting back on the outside. Watch Enfinger pinch him down to the bottom, then move up the hill. The final turn as they come out of turn number four. Who's going to win to the stripe? Kligerman has the advantage. Into the wall goes Enfinger, and Kligerman wins four in a row in the ARCA Remax Series. What an incredible finish. Enfinger tried to run that corner wide open. He got a little bit wide, got to the outside wall. Kligerman, after tormenting him gets by on the last lap and you said it best phil no matter what the outcome was grant infinger ran a phenomenal race he comes home second tonight The final half lap. Parker's going to be on the bottom, so Justin, if he's going to make a move, he's going to have to do it on the top. He goes down low, now up high, coming out of turn four. They're going to be side by side. Lofton trying to make the move. He's going to the inside. It's going to be Kligerman that will take the win. Win number eight for Parker Kligerman in the 2009 season. Love to try to high, then went down low, but had nothing for Parker Kligerman at the end. It was the restart that took it away from Lofton. Battle for second, side by side. Justin Lofton's trying to go for second. Oh, contact, contact made. made. He's sliding sideways. sideways as Justin Lofton. Can he hang on to it? That is the battle for second. On the final lap of this race, can he hang on to the third position? That's for the championship. Here comes Kenny Schrader. If Schrader gets by Lofton, it'll give Klingerman the championship. Out of turn four, Parker Klingerman wins the race. Can he win the championship? No, Justin Lofton will be your 2009 ARCA Remax Series champion. What an incredible finish. Look at the crew. Look at Eddie Sharp on the right right there. Jubilation. Three times they've been in this position. Finally got it. Parker, Parker Kligerman's guys congratulating each other. A great performance by both drivers today. Justin Lofton in the last lap looked like, I, I want to go for another position. They slid up the racetrack. There was contact made. And all of a sudden, here comes Kenny Schrader into the championship mix.